Brian? Hey, Dion, how are you? Yes. Hey, Brian, yes. Can you hear Brian, me? How are you doing? Yeah, I can hear you. Good, good, good. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, how are you? Not too bad. Can't complain. Can't complain. Yourself? Yeah. Right, I'm doing all right. Um, first, I must say, you know, thank you so much for agreeing to speak with us and have this discussion. Um, no it's a, it's a, it's a real pleasure to speak with you. I know many, many Jamaicans know you as, you know, the legendary striker from 1998. We haven't really get, gotten the chance to speak with you much. Um, but what is it that you're up to these days? What are you focusing on? Now, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm coach for the West Bromwich Albion under 23 free team. Uh, yeah. so that's my day to day job. Um, and we're doing not too bad at the moment, so I'm really enjoying it, coaching the boys. We also have a few of the players that drop down from the first team to help them some of the time, mm -hmm. so that's really good for them as well to see uh, yeah. how it's supposed to be done properly. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. How's that experience been for you so far? You know, coaching, it's a new environment, different from playing. Yeah, co coaching, it's, it's, it's similar in a way. I, I still get the, the same buzz. What, whatever I can give back, and then right. trying to make it, it's, it's hard to explain, trying to adapt it to my philosophy yeah. of the way of playing into coaching and mm. pushing that onto them and making them believe that if you do it this way, it's going to work and then see it develop and work in games and then get the buy-in from it. Yeah. That's just right. as pleasurable as me when I used to play. Seeing, that, seeing something that we've practiced and learned and then go and put it into uh, work on the, on, the, on the match day makes me uh, yeah. happy. Do you do you see yourself um, coaching a first team in the near future, in the club? Who, who knows? Who who knows? You know, <laughs> yeah. uh, when the time is right, um, and and I'm ready to take that step. If I think that's the next step for me, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Who, right. who who knows? It should be in the future. Why not? All right. I want to I want to talk to you more about um, your playing days, and especially for Jamaica. Um, we know you you were born in England. But how is it that you became, for those who don't know, you know, eligible to play for Jamaica? And what was it like, you know, hearing that you, you could play for the country? Yeah, obviously, my, my dad, uh, my, my, my mother's English and my, my, my father's Jamaican. So that qualifies me to yeah. have the choice to play for England or Jamaica. And I right. took the choice to obviously play for Jamaica and the rest is history, as they say. Right. And what was it like, you know, going through that campaign and helping the team um, to history? Oh, it was. Uh, it had it high. It had its highs. It had its its lows. But mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day, the goal that we set ourselves, we achieved it, and uh, that yeah. that was the main focus. Did you did you guys? Was it a case where you guys expected um, to go in and to achieve that feat? You know, going to the World Cup, or was it a case where you're just gonna go into each game and you know try and do your best? Obviously, at, at, at the the goal, we have to set the goal. The, the goal is to go to the World Cup, no mm. doubt. But we have to take right. it in stages. And every time we, we met right. up, the next, the next uh, process to win the next game, to win the next game. Right. And only focus on that. And right. we know if we could keep that momentum going, that would take us to the final goal, which was to France 98. Right. Yeah, you scored, you scored four goals in five appearances. Um, you won Sportsman of the Year. You and you helped us to achieve, you know, uh, a very historic feat that we can't achieve again somehow. But what was it like just having that kind of impact on Jamaica, knowing that you're someone who is regarded very highly? Yeah, but uh, all I can say on on the flip side, everyone asks me that question a lot. But all I can say is, mm -hmm. I was probably just the icing on the cake. But to have the ice on the cake, you now have to have the sponge. Mm -hmm. You now have to all the ingredients mm -hmm. go together for me to have, to right. have the icing. So. Oh, yes, I scored four four goals in the, in the five games. But if I didn't ke connect that pass from my teammate or, or they didn't keep the clean sheet at the other end, they wouldn't know we'd be talking about it now. So all credit to my teammate. And it's, yeah. it, was, it was all of us. It wasn't just me. I was just lucky enough to put the ball in the back of the net at the end of the whole process. Right. Um, and you, you speak about structure. So what, what was the difference between the Jamaica team then um, in 1998 and if you see any differences now, um, what, do you think it's more structured then? You which can't, is how we achieve that. You that can't really team? compare two di two different eras, two different times. You can't you can't mm. really compare. All you can do now is uh, you can never say, "Oh, what about this or what about that or what about how come they did it?" And it's a, it's a, it's all about now. We all we can do is get behind the team, get behind the coaching staff, 
and yeah. and wish them well, and hopefully uh, we will be able to achieve. Mm. Yeah, but what was it about that team though? That what what made that ninety eight team so special? Um, was it the chemistry, the coach? Uh, no, because uh, what makes it so special is that we we achieved what we achieved it. We got to the World Cup. Not to say that this group will not now. It's still possible. Yeah, we've had a bad start, but there's lots of game and, and points to play for. So don't put it past them. You can right. see building momentum now, uh, and it's a it's a new new thing for what they're doing and trying to do. So don't we're not we're not counting no one out yet. They, they, this is still possible, but um, we we can only talk from what we did. And yeah, we did it. But, uh, but yeah. Go on. Yeah, you sound like you still actively watch the the team. You still support in Jamaica, right? Of of course, I stay, I have to stay up and watch uh, all the <laughs> games. I might be tired in the, on the following day, but yeah. I still watch the games and, uh, and yeah. from afar and support and see how they're going. And what do you what do you think about the recent performances? I know we we had a, a very good performance against Canada recently, but there are some inconsistencies. What what's your personal opinion? Uh. Uh, the the games yeah that they're, they're tough there's so many different variables that you can put towards it with not having fans in and all these different yeah. things that can make up reasons but I'm not there all I can see from afar but obviously what the That's positive it. what the positive is the momentum seems to be changing a bit so we have been right down low now we're moving up the table and and yeah. things are starting to look positive more positive more positive so. Uh, that's that's all we can bode for and wish for in the the, the games coming up in November. Uh, what do you, do you think? Um, well, obviously you're gonna. I think I know your answer, but do you think you can make it to the World Cup? We have to. We have to believe it. until it's mat mat mat. What's the word? Mathematically uh, impossible. <laughs> Mathematically, yeah. Mathematically, that's it. We got to. Uh, we got to believe that we can, <laughs> because who who would have thought? Right. When we were going through, everyone they would have been thinking, saying, "No, they can't win the next game." But we did. No, they, no, no. But they're still gonna, they're gonna fail, or they're gonna drop down, or they're gonna get nervous. Mm. Yeah, people would have maybe said the same about us until we did it, and we're like, "Oh yeah, we, oh we knew, oh we knew yeah. they were gonna do it." No one knew we were gonna do it. We had to work to do it. So anything's right. possible. And the boys with the game, if they could, if they win two out of the three games, we we're gonna be right back in the mix. Play teams have to play each other still. Mm. So we could be talking this time uh, next month. Being being in and around it, we've still still lots of games to play. So I'm positive. Yeah. Um, and you know you're on the other side of the spectrum now. You're a coach. Uh, do you kind of sympathise with the whole coaching structure with, at, at the national team, the criticism that they've been receiving? And what do you think about that? Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Well, it's it's hard. I, obviously. I, we don't get it from where I am with the 23s because we're really mm. about develop development. So I've never really experienced right. it. All I've experienced is from the playing point point of view. So mm. you've got to take the rough with the smooth. I've I've played played in games when uh, fans have booed me, and the same fans when I scored mm. a goal cheered me. So you, yeah, we just have to take the rough with the smooth and, and move move with it and keep smiling. I want to I want to talk to you about that though, like. Right? Uh, more about your your career right now. Development. Um, how important is it? And I'm thinking about in the context of Jamaica. So we have schoolboy football out here, but we see that there's a massive problem when it's time for them to matriculate into the national team. But mm. what do you think we can do to kind of develop our young players better? Or if you have any um, idea. Yeah, but there, there has to be. It's like saying structure and what's going on. We have to find what is the problem right. between the gap. What's happening so well right. at schoolboy but not transferring? So we need to find out what the transferable skills are to keep that process going. Is it maybe the coaches that they're with? Then they move to different coaches with different views, and then maybe mm. they're not con con continuing. So do this, the coaches that are there when they're younger continue the journey with them? Maybe yeah. that's what players might need. I know that I've seen. Um, I've seen that we've got the one uh, artificial pitch now uh, yeah. that was built. We, yeah. What's to say, why can't we get more of them uh, over the country uh, for places, mm -hmm. centres to go to? I remember when I was a kid, I played for Portsmouth, but I lived an hour and yeah. a half on Portsmouth. So they had, they had a base in Basingstoke, which mm -hmm. is about half an hour from my house, where coaches would come, okay. set, up, set up camp, and okay. get to play, reach out to players that way because... There's got to be surely untouched talent on the island that people probably right. don't even know about. 
So we could, we're only talking yeah. about the, the players that we actually know about or the kids we know about. What about the ones that haven't got the facilities or they can get to the facilities? Let's take the facilities to them. Then everyone's going to get the same opportunity to uh, do do their do their thing. So yeah, so it's it's a lack of um, structure, lack of facilities. Do you think that impacts so the development, the lack of development of young players? Does that impact our national team per se? Not necessarily, because obviously mm. there's 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 talent everywhere. There's, there is talent everywhere. Mm. So uh, it's not just yeah, we need to develop. The, the 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 home the the uh the local based players place. nationally but mm. who's to say well we can't have we can't be looking at young national Jamaicans mm. that live further afield right. they don't have to come in they, yeah. they don't and, have to come in now when they're fully yeah. developed why can't we go when they're a bit younger and say well Jamaica let's start thinking about Jamaican national football team now so yeah. Yeah, you do have a, a lot of young um, football players that are going overseas at a much earlier age. You know, we have Tarek Magui who's in, in Belgium right now. We have Karim Paris who's in um, Slovakia, I think. So, yeah, we do have that. Um, but I wanted to touch on something that you identified. So one of the controversies here in Jamaica is that we tend to go after the English-born players when it's our own World Cup. Um, do you mm. think that really matters at all, or should we actually be looking for the best available players that we? When you say you say we're going after who are we going after? Are we not one? Are we all not Jamaican? Doesn't right. matter where where, right. where we live, we're we're all Jamaican. So for me, we're not. We shouldn't be segregating and saying, "Well, why are we doing this and not this?" At the end of the day, we're all bringing something to the table. We're Jamaican. We have the same passport. <laughs> we we have the same background. So I don't like the word them and us it's right. we're, we're, we're one if you can have the best right. uh if you can have the best choice to pull from why are you not going to use that to your best abilities uh there's lots of players there's lots of uh yeah. countries just even with england i could name probably about 10 players that weren't born in england that played for england so you see what i'm saying so it's, everyone uh everyone's done it and doing it so It'd be, it'd be, uh, uh, it wouldn't be, I don't think it would be leaving all your eggs in one basket to say we can only do this when that's available. That's not very, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think, I agree with you, and I think one of the, the, the issues that all I, all oh, sorry, let me just cut um, you. All I say is, no, you make, 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 all I would say is, as long as they're the best, the best group, mm -hmm. that's all that matters. If they are in Jamaica, as you yeah. say, if they're in Canada, USA, England, it doesn't matter. If they're the best 25 players, then let's use the best 25 players, no matter where they, they are. If, and, and you don't if, think that... If at that, one that stage impacts, or any time... It, that impacts um, the chemistry of the team? Uh, it, why would it? Why, why would it? If everyone's on the same mindset and uh, if everyone wants to... as the same goal... And everyone wants to go to to the World Cup. Why should it? Why should it mess up the chemistry if everyone's on the same page? Yeah, I think it's because like um, all right. So sometimes we'd see a, a, a set of twenty threes get called up for this set of games, and then a different set of twenty threes get called up for the next set of games, and it includes different English based players. So I think the confusion but, is like um, is this I, don't, going to I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what. That's just. That's just. That's just the way that uh, they've chosen to do it. I'm not part of the uh, mm. the selection process or anything like that, so I can't really comment on on that. Mm. But I'm sure right. that whoever is on it can only want it to be getting the best players because that's what we need: the best players on the pitch or in the squad to achieve our goal. Yeah, you you say you're not a part of it um, yet, but are you? Do you think that maybe one day you could be? Um, the coach of Jamaica? Oh, that's a good question. In the future, <laughs> when the time, circumstances are right for Jamaica and myself, I'd be delighted if I were to get the call. For any formula, former player would uh, love to help out their country. Mm. And what would the circumstances be right? Would you, like, would you would like to take charge of a first team first or what would it be? Um, at the moment, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not something I'm thinking about. So... When that okay. time comes, I'm, I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll have deep thought okay. in the process of what, what chooses to be done. But at the moment, 
All I can say is I'm a West Bromwich Albion coach and happily doing that yeah. job. All right. Um, I think I have some questions here. I've I've won. What was like being integrated? What was it like being integrated to the team? I think you touched on it a little bit um, before. What was it like? Uh, I think. Yeah. I think it was uh, Ian Ian Goodison. I think Pepe and Bibby took me to asylum. I think that was my <laughs> integration. <Yeah. laughs> uh, uh, did you have to uh, do any? What's it, what's it called? Did you have to sing? I saw Andre Gray recently. In initiation. Did you have to do initiation? Any initiation type no, 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 no. That, I think that's a new thing that uh, they they do now. Yeah, okay. But, uh, we didn't have to no, do a no new, new integration, no. Okay. So it was just it was a smooth sailing. Um, the team accepted you, and it was easy for you to just transition into the team. Nothing, nothing, nothing's easy. Of course, everything trial by error, and uh, like I said, yeah. Everything's always never plain sailing, but what you have to realise is once everyone's working as one, then uh, the right. uh, goals are achievable. So, yeah, I, w I wouldn't say uh, it, it, it was always smooth, but in the end, it, it was and it, and it showed. Yeah. Um, I want to I wanna thank you again for joining us. Uh, I know you, you, you seem to be very passionate, which is what I like to hear about um, just past players and I think the whole entire football fraternity in Jamaica just needs to ride around the team um, and they have to get them. behind so everyone has to get behind to yeah. you're doing that I can't yeah. wait for the stadium to reopen yeah. so people can get behind them and get in the stadium that's what we need everyone we're, on the same focus we're, we're, we're actually yeah we're reopening in the next game I heard 5,000 maybe 5,000 yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 I know yeah, so it, it should be it should be really good. Um, but you know, thanks again for stopping by. I really appreciate no it. No problem. It was a good discussion. Anytime. And I hope that we can talk again in the future. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. No problem. Nice and bright. Uh, thank you very much. Thank Take you. care. Ian Seven Six Stream.